Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Uh, these are the calves behind me, the last group that is on milk, and actually they have just been weaned. I know I mentioned last week I was going to wait two weeks to wean them, but looking back on my records, these are exactly eight weeks old. So um, I'd already been feeding them just once a day out there on the milk bar. They were in this little pasture here. So they had only been getting milk once a day for about four days, and then I decided, hey, it's they're old enough, it's time, and so they are now also getting this commercial feed now and they're getting basically as much as they want of it twice a day they are locked into this mud this muddy pen again like i had mentioned they were out here in this little bull pasture here but as you can maybe see in the background there's a bull on that far pond bank there's also the two nurse cows oldest calves in here so the reason I locked these calves back into this little pen here, it's only temporary, I'm gonna kick them out to pasture here in a minute, but uh, the reason I locked them in is because I'm actually bringing two new bulls today. Brand new, never had them before, they're pretty young, um, but all we need them to do is take care of 10 or 15 cows this season, so they should be able to handle that. And uh, But one of them is gonna go in here, and then the other one is gonna go out with the heifers. Yeah, so that's the plan today. Uh, first, I decided I better let these guys get all the grain they want before I let them out on pasture just so they got their bellies full. And uh, I'm not that happy with their progress, really. Uh, like this one, he's the oldest, actually. And he's just not filling out. He's slow growing. Just not looking super great. And they have been on pasture, so they've, you know, most of them get their fill on grass, eat some more grain. These two, I'm really happy with. The red one, I'm pretty happy with. He's still not really filled out that much. Um, and then this guy I'm also pretty happy with, but the other ones, they're just not filling out well. This little black white face one, I knew he wouldn't be very quick growing because he's a lot, has a lot of jersey in him, but uh, he started coughing yesterday. And like I said, we've had so much rain the last month, the last seven days, we've had at least a little sprinkle every day at minimum. Um, I think we've had over three inches in the last seven days. So even though they're out on pasture and they have access to this barn, it's still not great weather for little calves. So um, he had a little cough yesterday. I did give him LA 300, little antibiotic shot. So hopefully that will prevent him from getting pneumonia and get him back, back to feeling better. But uh, like I said, I'm not leaving him in this little pen here for long. I just want to make sure they get all the grain they want before they go out to pasture. Technically now I'm finished feeding milk with all the calves. So that means I got 41 calves on grain and uh, not feeding any milk anymore, which is a relief. I was getting kind of tired of it, as you guys know. When you do anything for five months straight, twice a day, it gets a little old. If I give myself four or five months of a nice break of feeding milk, I'll probably get back into it this fall or maybe next spring, but a break is always nice. Get a little rest and hopefully bring back some excitement to raising bottle calves. So anyway, I'm gonna let these guys out in a little bit. While I'm waiting on those calves to finish up their grain, I do need to hook up this stock trailer here. As I mentioned, I'm going to pick up two bulls and uh, need this trailer hooked on. they all get covered in mud again they were really clean a day or two ago come on guys oh. 
Okay, calves are in the new field. Took a while, they were being a little bit stubborn. You can see, loving the orchard grass. There's quite a bit of it in this area, but. All I gotta do now is fill up their water barrel, and these guys are officially weaned and just on grain and grass. So guys, I just picked the bulls up from the vet clinic. They were getting their breeding soundness exam, uh, making sure they were fertile, making sure all their feet and hips and all that back, everything is good to breed. And they passed the test. Um, none of their numbers were super amazing or anything, but good for a bull. So um, that's good to know. They're ready to be turned out with the cows. Well guys, here are the two bulls. I won't give you more information on them here in a bit, but we're dropping this one off first. He's going in with the heifers. And uh, heifers right over there. There's one in heat right now. So I'm hoping we'll be able to get it done. trying to act all big and tough, but he doesn't know there's no other bull in here right now. He is the only one. Like I said, I know there's at least one heifer in heat at this moment, so we will see if he can pick her out. And uh, I guess we'll know pretty quick whether he is interested in breeding. There's a bull right there. I'm getting attacked by one of my heifers. And he is getting attacked by all the girls. Um, this red white faced right here, number 46, I know she is in heat, standing heat right now, so um, I haven't seen her find him yet, but um, I'm sure that'll happen here soon. You want to be fat too? He is trying. Whether or not he got it done, I don't know. Going for try number two. I think that time he may have done it. Maybe. Hard to tell. It's not how it works, Heifer. Anyway, at least we know he's interested. We know he's fertile, so uh, she was in heat yesterday, that's why he's checking her out. Probably too late now, but. Okay, try to make this quick, because the other bull is on his way over here. Get out, hey, 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 hey. Angus bull thinks he can put up a fight. Every Hereford bull we've had, none of them have been aggressive with other bulls. They just act like they're big and tough and then never end up actually fighting anyone. I know this Angus bull likes to pick fights, but doesn't look like they're going to today. Yeah, they're just gonna sniff each other. Not gonna fight at all today. But anyway, this, this bull does look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with him and the other one. The other one I think actually looks a little bit better, but uh, so some of you may be able to tell these two are really young bulls. They're only 15 months old. They are registered Herefords. They have you know some EPDs on them. Not that those are really any good yet because they haven't had any calves. They do give you kind of a rough idea of what they're gonna have. They have low to moderate birth weights and calving ease was average to high, which is good. You want a higher calving ease number, calving ease direct. And, uh, but since they're only 15 months old, they can't handle very many heifers. 
And since we have around 30 some heifers in there, we're gonna put the first bull in. He's gonna breed, I don't know, five to 10. He's gonna get tired in two weeks. And then we'll swap him out with that one. And then the other bull will come in here, get some rest, and then we'll swap them out again in two weeks. So um, that's just one way you can get around using younger bulls if you have the time to swap them out. Give them both a chance to recover, recoup, and put some more weight on. Because as you guys saw, the young one we just put in with the heifers, he was already chasing heifers around, trying to breed a couple of them. He's gonna get wore out pretty quick. So anyway, that's the plan. Look-wise, they look really good. They're short and stout. Really heavy muscling, and I'm happy with how they look, and hopefully their calves are gonna turn out well. And breeding them to my Angus Holstein Cross heifers, they will still come out black white face. They should, even more so than our black Angus herd. Even if you breed a straight Holstein cow to a Hereford bull, most of the calves are gonna come out black white face just because the black in Holsteins is so dominant. So most of the calves out of my heifers should be black white face or maybe one or two red white face, but it's a little bit different plan on the breeding for my heifers, but that's where we're at right now. So I'll have more videos on the new bulls in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.